The temple is located in the mountains of Okazaki City, Aichi Prefecture. A young man visits this place for the first time in 11 years. Kunimitsu Hironaka, aka Ojisan, is a chief priest. He is battling terminal cancer. The temple used to house many children. Who could not live with their parents because of various reasons. Delinquency, abuse, recluse, drug addiction. Mr. Hironaka takes care of these children for free. In the past 20 years, he has helped to rehabilitate more than 1,000 children. Takuma was one of the children saved by Ojisan. At that time, Takuma was so boisterous that he was called Kyushu's junior Yakuza. Takuma took care of Sho, who is 13 years old, like a brother. <laughs> Sho's parents divorced when he was three months old. When he was in seventh grade, his mother got remarried and gave birth to his younger brother. Sho stopped going to school. He would run away from home and started to steal. Mike, I've been a Sunday. He repeatedly stole motorcycles and was caught by the police multiple times. He was about to enter a juvenile home, but instead, Ojisan took him in. It's okay as long as he doesn't do it again. Sho was welcomed by Ojisan and the others at the temple. He was provided with full meals, regained his daily rhythm, and became more cheerful. <laughs> However, one day, Sho was assaulted by a group of 16 local delinquents. Oh. Oji-san decides to take this opportunity to disassociate Sho from the local bad guys by confronting them face to face. However, when they arrived at the meeting spot, the delinquents was holding a metal bat. Takuma and his friends followed without flinching. The boy contacted someone. A large group appeared. The leader of the motorcycle gang seemed to be angry that Sho stole a motorcycle in his territory. The teenagers promised Ojisan they would never go near show again. Hi. Show was relieved. He felt the presence of people who would protect him by all means. <laughs> In fact, Ojisan used to be quite a bad boy himself. 
He was born to a poor temple and had a rough time in high school because he rebelled against his father. After a violent incident at school, his homeroom teacher got down on his knees to apologize to the principal in order to protect him and keep him from getting expelled. He believes that it's never the kid's fault. Children can change if you get close to their hearts properly. Sho was also changing to the better. Sho にとって本当に手に来たことがマイナスじゃなかったやでプラスになったことは自分にとって嬉しいと思いますけど。よし行こう。It's time to get Sho back to school. Ojisan visited Sho's junior high school with his mother. ある程度もリズムもできるようになったし、半日ぐらい毎日来てな学校に。However, the homeroom teacher objected to the idea. Oji-san listened quietly for a while. Oji-san was angered by the attitude of the homeroom teacher who seemed to have given up on show. Ojisan also gives advice to show. The 自分も努力しないとクラスの子は受け入れてくれない。だから逃げるなっちって。他人の先生と約束しなくちゃとやるだったらやるち。Show is now back in school. <laughs> the next morning, Oji-san drove an hour to Show's home. He came all the way to wake Show up. <laughs> First time in the classroom in 10 months. After that, Sho, with the extensive support of his homeroom teacher, graduated from junior high school. Subsequently, Oji-san was diagnosed with advanced lung cancer and the cancer spread to his brain. While surviving several major surgeries, he continued to counsel children. Despite not being able to walk properly, he fulfilled the wish of a woman whom he used to take care of at the temple. The woman's wish was for Oji-san to accompany her down her wedding aisle. six months after the wedding. Oji-san slowly drew his last breath with many graduates watching over him.
僕はおじさんから学んだって言ったらそれで困っとう人って絶対やっぱ世の中にいるからできたら人の役に立ちたいですよねそうやって本当におじさんみたいに。Sho lives his life with gratitude for everything Oji-san has done for him. まあ一番は居場所を作ってくれた人、愛情だったり怒ったりすることを教えてくれた人。ありがとうございました。ありがとうね。Oji-san will always be in their hearts. Thank you, Oji-san.